Gladys Porter Zoo is gearing up for a really big inspection later this year. And money is a concern. Here's Channel 5's Christian Von Pricey. This is the Galapagos tortoise here at the Gladys Porter Zoo. It's one of several critically endangered species that they have here. The zoo is coming up against its accreditation process later this year. They say it's going to take a lot of money to get through this in order to continue keeping these endangered species here. From a species that lives 100 years to a zoo that's been open for 50. The standards keep rising. Monkeys, zebras, dragons. Gladys Porter Zoo has a lot of animals and a lot of exhibits. And we have to keep pace with the current best practices and best thinking in the zoo and aquarium community. To keep running the way it does, the zoo will need to pass a challenging accreditation inspection in six months. It is an in-depth, very, very difficult process. Zoo director Dr. Pat Birchfield says the Association of Zoos and Aquariums expects more from zoos this year. Snakes, comedian dragons. The gorillas are fun. Yeah. The camels are pretty cool. The most popular animals. Gorillas, chimps, orangutans, just Galapagos tortoises. Including the ones on the endangered species list. Almost all the animals we work with are endangered, so losing accreditation potentially could affect all the species that we potentially work with. Like Vicky, the 20-year-old howler monkey, and her partner Kevin, and the troop of colobus monkeys. They're among the dozens of endangered species at the zoo. Endangered species are managed under species recovery plants. Zoos across the country share animals under those plants. When they determine where the animals move, where they're paired for breedings, etc., etc., well, if you lose accreditation, they are required to remove their animals from your zoo. He says the small world exhibit, a home to many of the monkeys, is out of date. The lion exhibit, he says, will need to be rebuilt. We're going to have to raise some major funding in order to do those projects because uh, each of them are in the millions. He says the zoo is trying to meet the new requirements. They're also working to acquire more land. The zoo's master plan announced last year set a list of improvements the zoo needs to make. We're going to need help from our, our patrons, our, our donors, uh, uh, the city of Brownsville. Coming up this December, the state of the animals at the zoo will be evaluated. The zoo says it's working to meet those standards. Christian Von Pricing, Channel.